Hi, I'm Larissa, and welcome to this edition of Digilent Show and Tell. This edition of Show and Tell, I wanted to cover the things that we have on digilentinc.com slash NI, or our NI Academic Products category. If you weren't aware, digilent has been working with NI, or National Instruments, for over 10 years. In 2012, we were acquired by NI and became a wholly owned subsidiary, working primarily with the Academic Product team. Our work today falls primarily into two categories. Either we're doing engineering services for their private label products, or we're creating hardware add-on boards for the academic platforms. The two primary academic products that we work with are the NI MyDAC and the NI MyRio. The MyDAC is primarily a tool that allows students to do benchtop instrumentation using LabVIEW. It has a mini system port on it, primarily used for data acquisition. The MyRio is a tool that allows students to use LabVIEW to program and create applications. It also has the mini system port for data acquisition, but features two additional ports, the MyRio expansion ports, that are really good for outputs. To navigate our hardware offering, it's best to use what connector standard they adhere to. The first two boards that I'm going to talk about use the MSP, the mini system port standard. This includes the MyProto and the MyDigital. The MyProto has a full-size breadboard and has analog inputs and outputs. The analog inputs include a potentiometer and an audio jack in, and an output is an audio jack out. The digital inputs and outputs are the switches and the user LEDs. The MyDigital has twice the amount of breadboarding area, but only has digital inputs and outputs. The inputs, the buttons, and the switches and the outputs a seven segment display and uh, eight user LEDs. Outside of those peripherals, both of these appear very similar to each other. So they are in essence peripheral enhanced breadboards with the ability to supply external power and both can be used with the MIDAC and MIREA. The next set of boards uses the MXP connector found on the MyRio. There's two MXP connectors, and we've created a plethora of boards that are able to add additional functionality or adapt other board standards to the MyRio standard. The first set are just like the MyProto and the MyDigital. These are just easy prototyping areas. There's the breadboard, and there's a the wire wrap. And what we've done in, all of the, in both of them is that we've passed the signals from the MXP connector through to these headers so you can prototype off of them. The next set of boards are adapters for the MyRio to other popular board standards, such as the Arduino Shield or the NXT sensors. The Shield adapter for NI MyRio can take any Arduino standard board that is either 3.3 or 5 volt compatible and adapt it to the NI MyRio standard. We also have pinned out all the extra pinouts right here on this header. The NXT sensor adapter uses the offset LEGO connector sockets and makes it so you can adapt any NXT sensor and use it with your MyRio. So those are our MXP boards that are for the MyRio. This is a really exciting category that's going to just grow in the coming months, and we have some exciting things coming down on the pipeline. So I highly encourage you to keep a watch for this category on our product page. And um, with that, that wraps up this edition of Show and Tell, and until next time. Seriously, he, he puts <laughs> outtakes in things. Just a weird guy standing in the background. <laughs> he puts outtakes in things. <laughs> That's true. You, you gotta gonna, breathe really loud. You're gonna get an outtake, man. You done? <laughs> hey, so if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to click up there to subscribe or click down there to watch some more videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.digilentinc.com. And thanks for watching.